Okay. Drew, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I am such a huge fan of your work. Oh, thank you. How did you meet Walt Disney initially? Oh, that was an interesting story. I met him when I knew I was going to play the part of Alice. Okay. And I was to sign the contract. So um, I was to go up to his office, of course, with the press and all of that, to, to do the signing and officially starting to work for Walt Disney. I already was so aware of who he was that I just... I was petrified. <laughs> you know, I walked to the door, shaking all my thing. This is what this is. I mean, I'm going to be actually talking to this person that I just admire. And um, the nice thing was, he opened the door and he says, Oh, Catherine, I'm so glad to meet you. Come inside. And, you know, I've got the books of, of, book of Alice in Wonderland. Uh, have you read the story? <laughs> of course, I read the story. Because being British, it was a British classic. And of course. And knew the story from being like three years old. <laughs> so um, we walked over to the couch and he wanted to just dis discuss with me his thoughts about how he was going to present the story as a movie. I got so involved hearing him and going through the book and comparing notes that I totally forgot my fear. And I realized later, yeah, this, this man is a father of children. The two girls were much older than I was, but he knew how to make me feel comfortable. Sure. And I just, oh, I was so relieved. <laughs> and from then on, um, you know, he was gone. <laughs> From that point, I just had a wonderful experience with him and was so impressed with what a talented person he was and how the studio's attitude was, well, how can we make this picture better? What's your idea? What's your idea? And cooling. So it was really a team effort, and I became very aware of what a team effort that was. And that made my experience there a very, very happy one. It's amazing. It must be so incredible to know that your work lives on in so many people minds, so many generations at Disneyland, Walt Disney, all over the world, your voice is heard every single day. What's the, your favorite thing that's happened to you as a result of your work for Disney? Being that um, his work is timeless and that even though I went on to a different career, here I was able to be a part of that because each time Alice in Wonderland or Peter Pan was re-released, then I would be called upon to help promote and sure. be involved. And so my involvement has continued that way over the years, and, and it's really lovely to feel that I had that experience as a, as a child, but that it has continued through my adulthood, and I still have a connection. Like I said, huge, huge fans. You can hear just listening, just listening to her. You can hear Alice and Wendy. Oh, it's amazing. Nice. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you so much for stopping yes. by. I really appreciate it. It's so nice well. to meet you. Nice talking to you. Thanks. Bye.